Hello, it's me, Daryl, Florida Catholic guy, out walking with the boy. Been a while since I've been out walking. Mostly laziness, but uh, beautiful day. Probably right now, right around sunset, 5:33. Uh, I think sunset's about quarter of, maybe 20 of, somewhere around here, but anyway, it's right around sunset, and uh, probably about 70 degrees, nice and dry, low humidity, nice and windy, a little less wind right now, it was really windy earlier, it's nice. Finally getting some November weather. <laughs> it's going to uh, gradually get warmer into the 80s, which isn't too bad. Uh, no rain, I guess, next week into the, or into this weekend, next week, maybe 10, 20% chance of a shower. Not too bad. So, uh, check the oil in the motorcycle, and of course, I had to add a quart, so had to uh, go to the Harley dealership and pick up some uh, motor oil for the bike. So, I asked the service department about. Uh, Excuse me, the routine maintenance that I need to get done. It's supposed to be at a thousand miles, but if I can get, if I can uh, get it to 500 miles, then they can do the uh, service early. But they said absolutely has to be at least 500 miles from to do the service to get all the fluids working through. I mean, a lot of it's because the bike is basically just sitting there and I need to go ride it. Because <laughs> uh, I'm only at 100 and, 170, 180 miles. Which is about, I think when I got it, had like 30, 45, 50 maybe miles on it so probably put about a hundred miles on it so far but obviously I gotta get I gotta get going <laughs> and uh, right especially now that it's good weather no excuses so come on shadow I gotta put the uh, gotta put the uh, miles on the bike now that it's good weather, and uh, anyway, still dealing with the fallout from the uh, election. I guess uh, well, we had the big win in Michigan where uh, it first looked like the. Republicans are going to certify the election because uh, the Democrats threatened their families. And uh, just last night, they said, uh-uh, we ain't going to vote to certify. And not only did they not vote to certify, they uh, filed affidavits uh, about the threats that were made against them and their families. Let's go. And, uh, so, now there's more litigation coming, so Michigan's back open again, and, uh, I don't know, I'm just getting, uh, I guess fatigued about the whole thing. Come on, let's go. They... 
I don't know what's taking them so long to get to court. I mean, back with bush feed gore, it was more, of course, that was more cut and dry because it was, excuse me, it was more, you know, to deal with recounts and, you know, the Democrats just wanted specific counties recounted and, well, it's, uh, this is more, you know, in a fraud case like this, it's more of a gray area. And, uh, yeah, it looks like he ain't going to be able to go into the, uh, into the park today. Somebody's there. But, uh, No, you can't go in there, Shadow. Uh, come on, let's go. So, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, just, uh, I don't know, getting tiring and, you know, to hear, you know, Trump's legal team, oh, we got all this stuff coming out and, oh, this will be coming out and, that, and then, you know, I guess they had a big news conference today and I guess it was good, but... You know, we got to start getting some victories in the court for stuff to happen. That's all right. At least get some cases in front of the Supreme Court anyway. You know, that's, that's what we need, and uh, it's not happening. And, uh... First of all, you know... I know Giuliani's trying to do the best he can, but, and I do like him, but the guy's not, he hasn't been in court for, what'd they say, something almost like 20 years or something like that, and I mean, come on, they got to get, uh, who is this, Jenna Ellis or whatever her name is, she sounds pretty good, she does, but, uh, come on, Shadow, I want you to go over here. I don't want you to go in the grass here. I want you to go in the new spot. <laughs> but anyway, they need to, I guess they've been having trouble with their legal team because of the threats that they've been getting. And uh, I, and not just not just death threats, but uh, threats. Uh, you know that. You know, I guess one of the law firms they had worked for this uh, major company or something, and the Democrats said that if they keep on representing Trump, 
that they're going to have the uh, the company fire them from the being their lawyer. So basically, if you represent the president or uh, his interests, you're not going to work again. And then, of course, there is there is a death threat. Does has happened. Uh, and the Democrats don't care. And the funny thing is that if if it was Republicans threatening Democrat lawyers, then uh, all hell would be breaking loose. But because it's because it's uh, Democrats threatening Republicans, it doesn't matter. And uh, So it's uh I don't know. It seems like come on. Seems like the uh Democrats are gonna get away with everything again. And uh I'm still a little bit hopeful, but my hope disappears little by little all the time. I mean, I know I gotta trust in God and everything, and I do, but the more I'm beginning to consider that uh, God might be setting us up for uh, some tribulation. I mean, I went to Publix the other day and uh, they didn't have any toilet paper, didn't have any paper towels again. I needed to get my mom some some Kleenex and you know, usually I've been able to you know, buy her three or four boxes at a time. And, uh, they had plenty of Kleenex. I mean, they had like, I don't know about hundreds, but probably close to a, a boxes. Uh, so, yeah, they had all these boxes. So I picked her up three, four boxes, and I made it a point because I knew with the with what I heard online and you know what I heard. I don't know. Uh, excuse me. With what I heard online and everything, I knew there start new restrictions on what you can and can't buy and uh, so I looked for signs they didn't have any on the Kleenex so I picked up I think three or four boxes and when I was checking out they uh, told me I could only buy two I wasn't too happy about that and I told her, I said, I didn't see any signs there, otherwise I wouldn't brought, 
hasn't, you know, gotten all these boxes. So she pulls out her little sheet there that had all these, I don't know, all these things that you could only buy one or two or whatever it is of. And, uh, well, that's fine, but you need to put signs up. But anyway, <laughs> I said it pretty loud, too. I said, uh, welcome to Joe Biden's America. <laughs> I don't think she appreciated that too much, but uh, I said it, and I don't regret it. <laughs> And, uh, and that's what it is, because none of this started happening until Biden got quote unquote elected, and he started talking about going into lockdowns again. And some places, I mean, here in Florida, I don't think we have to worry about lockdowns because. Governor DeSantis said he ain't gonna do it. And uh, I went to a, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but I went to a clothing store. I needed to get some dress pants for church. And uh, a men's warehouse in Brandon. And uh, I don't wear a mask. I'm not sick, I don't need a mask. And, uh, so, as soon as I walked in, oh, you gotta put a mask on, you gotta put a mask on, you got a mask, I'm like, no, I says, I got a medical exemption, well, we can't help you then, we can't, we can't serve you, I says, what do you mean he can't serve me, it says, the governor says I don't need a mask, I don't need a mask, well, it's our store policy, I says, I'm not sick, I don't need a mask. He says, I'm sure you're not sick, but you need a mask. We need to protect our employer, our customers and our employees. And I'm like, masks don't protect anybody. And I says, I'm not wearing a mask. And I says, you're gonna help me. Oh, I'm sorry, we can't, we can't. I says, you know what, I says, I says, if you don't want my money, I'll go somewhere else and spend my money. And, you know, they said, well, hey, you know, one of these sarcastic, have a nice day. And I said, yeah, you're all a bunch of assholes. And they said it just like that. And so then I went to another clothing store that was in the same mall area. And uh, they didn't have the size I need, so I went to the big and tall store which is where I should have gone to begin with and uh, I was expecting to take some crap because they had the same sign there and need to wear a mask but I walked in nobody said nothing you know I found what I wanted to try on and went up to the desk and they sent me to the to the changing room to try it on and it didn't give me any trouble I Paid a little more than what I would have done at the other store, but you know what? I didn't care. I was happy to pay him because he didn't harass me about a stupid mask. So I'll gladly pay a little more and uh, tell the maskers to stick it up their ass, and which is basically what I did. <laughs> yeah, I know it wasn't very nice of me, but. I wasn't feeling very nice, so. <laughs> and uh, so I got my clothes and I was happy. And uh, so I wouldn't go back to that uh, men's warehouse place. No. I don't care if they had buy one at half price and get three free, I still wouldn't go there. <laughs> but, uh, no, by the way, in case you didn't know, this is a new area. They're building, uh, building houses here. And, uh, the other day, 
actually I think it was two days in a row I saw a nice uh, SpaceX launch. There was an unmanned one first day and uh, they had to man one the next night and boy was that awesome. I mean I was able to follow that actually pretty much both of them I was able to follow that for a long time in fact I could have the man one I could have kept following if I had kept on going but uh, I needed to get inside had my binoculars and uh, boy that you know something like that I mean that, that's great being down here to see that I would have loved to have been down here when they had the space shuttle but uh, to see that to, to see a manned spacecraft go up that's something and I'm uh, that was awesome I loved it but uh, But uh, so I'm still doing my thing, still battling depression. But uh, almost wrecked my car tonight. Uh, when I was on going to get my oil for my bike. I uh, was on 75, and some idiot tried to. Uh, cut me off trying to pass me and uh, and then I was trying to get his license plate and I think he knew that and he was he was riding uh, aggressively to, so I couldn't so I couldn't get his plate and I was riding aggressively to catch up so I could and uh, of course there was heavy traffic so at one point, when I was trying to find them, the friggin' cars in front of me slowed down and I almost lost control and uh, <laughs> wrecked. That wouldn't have been fun because I was going too fast. But uh, needless to say, I gotta calm down. <laughs> but. Uh, that pissed me off, but uh, I'm good now. Anyway, I'm at home now, so I need to end this. Well, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great night. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.